In this project, we will explore surreal automatism. Inspired by surreal automatism, as evident in Victor Hugo's Inkblot's drawing and Joan Miro's paintings, create your own piece by using either homemade pigment or ink or paint wash. The surreal expression in your work should reflect the use of art elements and principles, line, shape, and movement. So what is surrealism? Surrealism is a term that was generated in France in 1924. It means to go beyond the real, going beyond what you see in the physical world. It's a term that was introduced by poet and artist André Breton, who introduced ideas of automatism and intuition and ways in which these Ideas can be united with texts and images through chance association, randomness, letting go of rational thoughts to create new poetic and symbolic works of art. His ideas coincided with Sigmund Freud's psychoanalyst theory of the subconscious mind, which simply says that dreams and human behavior are all influenced by the subconscious mind. The subconscious, in other words, can be the source of art itself. And that's what these surrealist artists are turning to. They're turning away from what they see in the physical world, in the physical representational world, to that which is in the subconscious. Joan Miro was a Spanish-born painter who moved to France and became an internationally well-known artist. During the period of 1939 and 1941, a period of economic hardship, impact of the war, and Miro's migration from the city of Paris to the village in Normandy, he began his exploration series of that he titled The Constellation. It's a series of 23 small paintings on paper. He wrote, he wrote, I had always enjoyed looking out the windows at night and seeing the sky and the stars and the moon, but now we aren't allowed to do this anymore. So I painted the windows blue and I took out my brushes and paint and that was the beginning of the constellation. In French artist's work, Victor Hugo, we see a different technique being used, the ink blotting technique, where the artist poured ink, reshaped and redefined imageries by chance. So how do you begin? You can begin by using the ink blot technique, where you water down some paint or use watercolor paint. Or you can be creative and inventive like I was when I experimented with some vegetables at home. Some green leafy vegetables I boiled to extract the green pigment, that chlorophyll content, which I'll use as paint to give a tint to my paper. I wanted the color to be a bit brighter, so I mixed some ground turmeric powder into the green pigment to brighten the color. I fell in love with the yellow, so I decided to make it more yellowish than green. You can experiment and choose as you desire, as your subconscious changes, as your likes changes. I poured the liquid onto the surface, then layer a piece of paper on top, tapping it here and there, to observe some of the pigment in different places. I would check it to make sure that I'm happy with the results. And from there on, the process of surreal automatism began for me. Enjoy your process. Experiment by either making your own pigment or mixing your own pigment with paint or ink that you may have and simply enjoy let your subconscious flow relax let go letting go can be a very difficult thing to do but simply allow your mind to simply let go like John Miro said painting was a liberation for him 
He said, I cease thinking about the tragedy all around me. Perhaps this exercise can be that space of letting go of all worries and of being imaginative, inventive, exaggerate imagery, juxtapose them, be random of letting your subconscious flow onto your canvas. This feel freeing, relaxing, and be amazed at what you can create during this journey of surreal automatism. Unblock all blockages and enjoy the process of exploring with line, shape, and movement. And do send me a picture of your work. Thank you.